Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to use a Google Hangout as a way to create virtual office hours that are drop in. So the first thing that I'm going to do actually is start in Google Calendar. Yes, I know that in the Waffle or the Apps Grid or whatever you want to call it, there is a button for Meet, there's a button for Hangouts, but that's not the way that you want to initiate this. You want to start in Calendar. because so you want to pick your time. Um, there's a couple other reasons, but let's just know that we need to start in Calendar. So let's say that I want to create a block of time on Friday morning from, and I'm going to call this Metzger's Extra Help. Um, and I'm gonna run this from nine to 9.45. A couple things right here in this first little pop-up window that happens, I'm just clicking. Um, oh, something that does come up a lot. When you're looking at your Google Calendar, um, it's gonna be best if you're looking at the week view or the day view. Month view is really hard to navigate, so you just wanna be somewhere where you can sort of see how the day is broken up. All right, sorry about that sidebar. But we're, we're back in our calendar event information here. Um, the most important thing is gonna be the name, the time, and really critically important, if you're like me and you manage a bunch of calendars, you want to make sure that you're putting this in the calendar that you are comfortable, you know, sort of being out there. So your outward face facing um, calendar, the one that's associated with at pinecrest.edu, um, probably the one that is your name. Um, I'm showing you one that's different only because I have so many calendars. I wanted this to be clear. So once you've started your event, you're going to click more options. And that brings you to the calendar kind of full panel view here. This is where you're going to get that hangout piece started. So we're going to look for that little video camera. I guess that's what that's supposed to be. It's under location and above all this other stuff. So we're going to click add conferencing and we're going to click on hangouts meet. And you'll see that it started to think right away. And then it gave me this fabulous link. So that's what's critical for us in terms of sharing with our students is that link. So we're going to highlight it. We're going to copy it so that we have it on our clipboard to paste later. And then we definitely need to hit save here because it won't save if you don't. Um, some people have asked, can I just type in all the names of the students? Well, you could, but that's a lot of names to type in and sharing the link is going to be really helpful. The only time that I recommend adding guests is if you have a short and sort of finite list of people that you want participating. When you're doing something that's more of a drop-in, you just want to grab the link and share it. So I'm going to hit save. Okay. And now I've got that on my calendar and I need to get to the place where we're going to be sharing with students, which is going to be in Schoology. So I am going to post this. Um, sorry, I'm going to post it as an update because I want to say to my students, um, you know, I would probably do something a little bit longer, but extra help, um, drop in, extra help tomorrow, drop in in the morning if you have questions. And I usually like to make um, the subject bold. I just like to kind of have a subject just like I would in an email. And I'm going to go ahead and put the link there. Now, I'm not expecting any students to drop in right away because I said it's tomorrow at nine um, and they're not gonna expect me to be there. So they're not gonna click the link, but they'll know they can find it there. But just in case, I also think it's a really smart move to add it to the calendar. Um, if you add it to their calendar with the right time that you would be starting, it's static for them. So if lots of teachers are, are you know, posting things and the update speed, then it can get really long. And so giving it a little bit of a static um, place to live while it's relevant is important. So I'm doing that. I'm adding the link. Here we go. And it's attached and we hit save changes. So I actually have a student lined up to uh, join me. So I'm gonna go into my extra help click on this and I'm going to join now and let's see if my student is ready okay 
So I could just be here. Now, obviously I wanna be really mindful. If, I, if you know, I'm not seeing anybody, I could turn off my camera and I could wait to see if I've got a student who is going to show up. Oh, look, I've got a student. I'm gonna say hi. Hello. Oh, there's my student. Hello. Hi, hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, did you have any questions? And so thank you, Jamie, for playing. So that is how that would look. So I could, when Jamie's done, she might hang up and, or if I need to step away, I could mute this for a moment if I needed to. She's not gonna be able to hear me. Can you hear me? She cannot hear me. Um, and oh, she's left, okay. And so, um, so I could stay again and I could wait once more, turn off my camera, wait to, to hear if somebody pops in. So this is a way where you can virtually hold sort of office hours without actually um, having to schedule them with the students and without having to individually email each and every student, those sorts of things. So the key takeaway, I'm gonna go ahead and hang myself up there. All right, so going back to my, my Schoology page here, the key takeaway there is that you start in the calendar, you create the event in the calendar, all right, and you grab that link. The link is the key part to this. And then you attach the link the way you would any other link. But what I'm recommending is the post to the updates field. That's sort of the trigger that tells the students, oh, Mrs. Metzger's got something new. And then you put it in that calendar so that when they look at their very long, sometimes calendar feed, your extra help is right there where it ought to be. Look, it's 9 a.m. There's this extra help. The thing that comes after it is a 10 a.m. Zoom practice. And then this spooky, you know, Friday the 13th event. So it all sort of goes in order for the students and it really helps them stay organized, I think. So I hope this information was helpful.